Okay, so if you ever run into an issue with air bubbles in the actual skimmer, it's a real common issue. I'm going to tell you what I exactly do on my pull routes uh, to diagnose where it's coming from. Before I get started, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Okay, so we're going to pretend that there's a lot of air getting in the line right now. The first thing that I'm going to do is actually go to the skimmer. I'm going to walk over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that this weird door, hopefully I can get this in a shot here. Let's see. The weird door right there, you're going to make sure that that is not actually stopped up. If it's open all the way, you're going to want to unlodge any debris that's in there. And then you're going to want to make sure this is not filled up with debris. If it's filled up with debris, it will channel air back to the pump. So once we test all that, then we're going to go back and the first thing that I do is I'll actually check the O-ring and I'll check the lid. I'll make sure the lid's tightened down. I'll make sure the O-ring is clean. So you're going to have to turn off the pool to do that. Once you diagnose that that's fine, now I'm going to work my way to any unions. I'm going to water test them or loosen them up and uh, you can clean the o-ring sometimes, uh, tighten it back. I'm going to water test that. I'm going to water test the actual uh, valves. If you have a jandy valve, you're going to want to water test that. Typically, the first place I usually see it is in the skimmer. You know, the water's too low or, um, or the weird door like I showed you is stuck. Uh, followed by the uh, the actual um, o-ring that's actually bad uh, either bad or dirty and uh, or it's just not tightened down now there is some drain plugs down here and always make sure your drain plugs are tightened because that is a huge way that air gets in make sure that those drain plugs are tightened don't over tighten them because you don't want them to break but I've seen where I've just tightened those up before and it solved the issue. But if it's on the pipes anywhere, on the PVC plumbing, you're gonna wanna replace it. So let's just say we have a leak here at this ball valve. You're gonna wanna replace that. Um, you, you're not gonna really wanna try to patch it. Uh, patches don't usually work with like silicone. It's, it's not gonna last long at all. So uh, just trace it back. Uh, you can use Windex. Um, water you know I'll just take a water hose and I'll put it on it if the air bubbles go away then we know hey we just located the leak so hopefully this can help you out try to diagnose air in the line there is a lot of other things it could be you could have the um, if you have the returns off that go back to the pool like this is the main jets if this is actually shut off or partially shut off um, you could see air bubbles in it and that's basically just like back pressure um, so also the lines that actually come from the skimmer and the main drain that come underneath the ground all the way here there could be a underground air leak um, I typically find it above ground from anywhere from over here to the to the actual lines um, also there could be a crack uh, if there's any crack on the lid or on the sides, that will let air in. So just check this whole area, you know, water test that. You can use Windex on it, uh, water test this, and you should locate it. Uh, normally, like I said, it's, it's either the skimmer uh, door being stuck or too much debris in the skimmer, or it's right in here, pressure. Um, so hopefully, Hopefully this helped you out and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next videos.